Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to continue where we left off before. We had created an offer, and when we previewed it, it took us to this checkout page. And it had some text here, and a few other things. I had this background image here. So to, in this lecture, I want to show you how to customize this look. All right, so let's go back to our Kajabi dashboard. And we can either go to offers. Let's just go to offers and, and show you how to get there. There we go. So now we have this offer that we did in the last session. So if you go over here to this edit, click on edit, okay? And this is the work that we did in the previous lecture. We attached the course, we put, a, we put an image, and then we previewed it. Now, for kicks, while we're here, I'm just gonna select a different image just to keep things consistent, and I'm gonna hit save. Now up here in the navigation bar under our offer title, let's go to where it says edit checkout. So this brings us to that checkout, which looks a lot better than it did in the last video, only because we're now using the same image that we've done pretty much throughout this lesson. Keep it consistent. Pick an image that you can use for your course um, and as, as the thumbnails, anything like that, okay? So let's go. Uh, down here, you can edit this. Now this is awesome course offer. I want to change that. Um, it's really the product that they're selling now. I would go back and name it my awesome course. Okay. Uh, enable the banner. Do you want to have this hero image up here? It's not really a hero image. It's not that large. So yeah, you can, I've already put it like a placeholder logo, but if you don't want it, you can certainly let go of that. Or like I said, disable that. And if we hit save, it'll disappear. I think it looks fine like that. You can also, if you do want it, you can add your own image, just have to enable and then pick this file. And again, go through the process of picking that image. It's gonna also show you the banner height. If you want a video, you can certainly add a video. Here's our image that we did that. If we didn't, if we did not do it in the previous lesson, if in the previous screen, I could have changed it here. Okay, so there's a couple ways that I could change that. Here's the logo. I'm just going to remove that because I'm not really going to use that banner. All right. Now, down here is really we're going to add your final call to action. You're going to insert some sense of urgency or scarcity in these bullet points. Probably add three benefits. I wouldn't add features. You want to add benefits, things that the, your customers are going to get out of the course, uh, things that pain points that they're going to be, that will, they, um, that will be, relieved from them. Um, any kind of headaches, like I say, give them a headache and sell them the aspirin. All right. So that's where you're going to do all of this right here. Okay. So let's just save all this and we'll go to preview. All right. So I don't know why it still has this banner here, but I'm sure it's just something I didn't save right after that. Okay. So that is how the checkout is going to look once you are completely finished with it. You have the new name, my awesome course. I mean, back to the course name, I think. Don't, don't leave the offer name here in case you named it something different. Um, you know, sometimes you have an offer that has two courses in it. Maybe you're doing a two for one deal or something like that or a bundle. Uh, but if you can, try to keep this as consistent as possible or just rename it into the course name just so your students know what they're buying. All right. That is a quick lesson on how to edit the checkout page. I'll see you in the next lecture.